in 2015. I feel that Super Bowl was the first year I really managed the mental part of freestyle because I kind of figured out what was stopping me from performing uh, super well and that was... Hi, my name is Bailey Derecht and you're listening to The First Podcast. In this season we're going worldwide. Every episode an international guest will share their freestyle journey with you. Today we're making it around the world with... Arlen Fagelli. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. I'm delighted to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah super nice. We're uh, yeah, still in Prague Super Bowl. Um, last year you didn't compete. This year you are competing. Um, how has it been with the COVID and not being able to compete? How, how are you feeling? I really missed competing. I missed the feeling of being on stage and, uh, and uh, feeling the tension. Yeah. So it was really sad uh, that I couldn't participate last year. Yeah. But it was all because of Corona and uh, the restrictions. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be here now and excited to see if, uh, if I can do my best. <laughs> and what is your best? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it before, of course. Mm -hmm. And you said you, you missed the, the tension um, of being on stage, you mean? And like the, the, the Yeah, or just uh, the whole competition setting. Yeah. Just uh, being backstage, uh, warming up, uh, watching the competitors and feeling the energy from the audience. Yeah. And uh, yeah, also just the preparations and... Uh, Be because how have the preparations been for, for this tournament, for example? You've had more time, I think, to get your sets ready or to train new tricks. Yeah, just the training has been more like regular, uh, just uh, having the continuity. So just two sessions every day, five to six, six yeah. days a week. And yeah. uh, maybe the last month or two, it's, it has been a bit more thinking about Super Bowl and what tricks to focus more on and uh, stuff like that. So, So the hard work, you've done it the months before? And then, like the, the yeah, the month before Super Bowl, you started like putting the everything together and the finishing touches, or yeah, or just trying to Imagine. get an overview, overview of what tricks I have and what what I need to work on, and uh, yeah, just the general level as well. And is it like writing down your 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 tricks, and then uh, or how, how do you like how do you have your yeah, the tricks one, you want to do? One way is to. I've done this uh, for this year, just uh, write down all the tricks I have. Yeah. I, also f I also film every time I invent a small new variation or a new trick. Yeah. So I just make like a list. With That's a long uh, list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I try to pick out the ones uh, that uh, I find the most valuable. Yeah. And. Uh, also try to make uh, some connections between moves. So, yeah. uh, like in 2016, I did more like plans, 30 second sets, the whole yeah. set, yeah. sort of, and I was watching my notes during the battle. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> you had your notes with you. And yeah. Then, yeah, yeah, but I don't think that's the right way. So now I'm more, I have maybe, if I have uh, one trick that yeah. it's really good, I want to, have maybe two or three tricks that naturally comes after that, which yeah. are also quite decent. So yeah. it's more like I have one trick which uh, uh, brings me to the next. Yeah, so you, ma you make a real. And then, then I can be free. So from this, w okay, so for example, we have a round and you know the first trick and it flows naturally into this one, and then in between you, you just freestyle. Yeah. And before you would say you, di you didn't really. Freestyle, you had everything literally prepared or? Uh, not everything, but uh, more or less uh, plan everything from A to B. Yeah. But now it's more, uh, yeah, I feel I can go more uh, crazy with uh, not having planned everything. Yeah. And higher level, but <clears throat> maybe a few more drops. Like, okay. uh, but it's, I think it's worth it. Yeah? <laughs> Why do you think so? Uh, because of the, uh, the presence as well, the stage presence. Yeah. 
uh, also it makes me more uh, available to responding yeah. and being in the moment and uh, yeah also just go more crazy because if uh, if I try to plan everything then it's uh, it's really hard to to plan something and I'm not safe at but yeah. in the moment I often can feel feel good yeah do you do you really make decisions in the moment so you okay I'm feeling good at this trick so I'll just do another one or yeah I'm pushing it now on stage yeah I, I often do that so if I feel I have sort of a rule that if I feel that a trick now it feels difficult I yeah. don't do it yeah but uh, also if or that's what I hope to be and often it is that way if it feels good I can do it and I can do do more and does it mean that in the warming up you you check on certain tricks and you feel like ah this is not working today I'll skip it in the battle or is it during the battle itself uh, it's kind of both yeah. maybe mostly during the battle so yeah yeah and is that also what you mean with uh, because before you said you you wrote everything down and now you're more in the moment yeah. um, you, you you called it that yeah. being more in the moment is the right way of freestyling yeah. Uh, I'm not for saying you, for you, it, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's important to point it out that it's uh, it's not like one right answer. No, no, definitely. And uh, preparation is important to yes. perform well, so yeah. you have to have some sort of preparation. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, for me, it's uh, it's uh, preparation, but not like a strict, no, strict one. No. Okay. And what I found find difficult is at home I train three or sometimes three and a half hours a day five to six times a, a week and then when I come at Super Bowl it's, it's kind of different because uh, I sleep less you know there's different food uh, different language different uh, everything is different from my training spot at home you know mm. um, and how do you still perform at your best when all these factors change and when it's the, your moment supreme you, you know when you have to <coughs> perform yeah that's a good question because uh as you say, the food is different, and uh, the first session I had here, I th at least the first ten minutes, yeah. my body felt different, and yeah. like. But uh, I think it's just to. I don't know. Just uh, Do take take it as it is, and uh, one thing I I also have learned over the years is that every competition is different, and you always feel a bit different on on the stage yeah so you can't expect to feel feel no. the same no so but you have to do what feels right in the moment wow yeah that's difficult i think uh, because you cannot prepare maybe super well for it like because at home i, I have a warming up and it takes quite long maybe 30 40 minutes before i'm at my top level lowers for example uh, but then here, before you have a battle, it's mostly like 15 minutes, you start warm up, so everything feels different. And mm. Also, do you have shaky legs, for example, on stage, or are you super calm there? Mm. Now I think it's uh, usually good, at least when uh, I have had maybe one battle uh, or two, then yeah. it's starting to feel very comfortable. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you also have to just find what, what's right for you. For me, the last uh, since 2018, I have always had uh, one session early in the day, yeah. 20, 30 minutes, just to get my body started, yeah, yeah. and then say it's it's a top 16. Yeah. I I usually just warm up like 10 minutes before the first battle. 10 minutes, but it's super short. Yeah, but that's what has worked for me because uh, the first session makes my body already ready yeah so and also I can save energy for later battles yeah but for you if uh, <laughs> if I would be you maybe <laughs> I would uh, warm up 45 minutes before yeah because uh, whatever gets you in your best shape yeah yeah and or or should you maybe advise could you advise me to in training uh, peak earlier so maybe 20 minutes warm up and make sure that I'm at my best level then mm. um, or if that's possible yeah I uh, think it could be possible yeah 
Because yeah, you could try. <laughs> but uh, is it uh, stopping you from warming up 40 minutes? Mm, well, it, it's kind of, I, I start, for example, with just regular ATVs, and then also weak food, and then maybe some half ATVs, and then some hops, and then I'm already like half an hour, 40 minutes in, and then I start doing some TATVs, so basic tricks. And then when the heart, or when I try to go all in, then it's already an hour in. Mm -hmm. So then if I come to a competition, it feels super different from, from normal. So yeah. would you then align your training with competition? Mm. At least if, if you do that now, I would do the same uh, as you do in training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, definitely. So your, your competition should be as your training as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. It's similar, yeah. And you've won Super how many times now? Three times. Three times? Yeah. Wow, and you're, you, you really want to win it again, I think, this year? Yeah, well my, my main goal is just to show what I got, mm. just to perform as well as I can. Yeah. And uh, try to be better than the earlier years. Yeah. And uh, of course, I, I want to win, but... Uh, it's not the main goal. Yeah. In the in the deep, it's not the main goal, but uh, of course, on <laughs> for uh, for every viewer, and uh, of course, I want to win as well. But uh, yeah, it's it's more important that uh, I do well. Yeah, that you that you can be happy with what you have yeah. done on stage. And if if I do that, uh, yeah, I hope I should win. Yeah. <laughs> or it's it will be amazing battle. I think. Yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> Um, and do you maybe also feel, because I think you're in a difficult position, you know, you, you are the favorite of a lot of people uh, and yeah, I, I don't know you super well, but I, from what I can see is that you're um, not shy, but uh, on the background and uh, it's not really maybe the place where you would expect yourself to be like a few years ago, you know what I mean? In the picture. That... Uh but I'm more like a relaxed. Uh, yeah. But you got not, not the most social guy. Not a social, but uh, not the most outgoing guy. Yeah, yeah. And you are at the top of, and everyone is watching you. You know? Do you feel? <laughs> I don't know. I. I kind of uh, like that as well. Yeah. I maybe have uh, two personalities in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I really like to be on the stage and uh, and showcase what I got. And uh, yeah, it gives me a really good feeling. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, in in many, in some social settings and stuff, I can be. I'm not the most like dominant guy. No. Some uh, with some guys, I can be that. Uh, yeah. But it all depends. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, freestyle-wise and just performance-wise, I feel like that's something different again. Difference. And. Uh, yeah, I, I still enjoy that. <laughs> On stage, you turn into a beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. You don't know. You could yeah. say that. Yeah, cool. And then uh, next to freestyle, like you also just study. <laughs> yeah. You're, what are you studying again? Medical school or? Yeah, medical school. I'm going uh, part time, so, uh, so I have enough time to train freestyle as well. Yeah. So now I'm in, uh, this year I'm finishing third year. Okay. So I have probably four, four or five years left. Yeah. Is it difficult to prioritize, or do you think it's an, it's a very good combination and it works for you to have two things going at the same time? I I really like it because uh, I like both very much, and it gives a good structure to the day. Yeah. And uh, for me, having only freestyle, uh, I don't think that would. Uh, work so well because yep. I want to do different things as well. What would happen if you would not have your, your school, for example, and you would have only freestyle? I don't know. I will probably go more in for uh, trying to leave only from freestyle. But uh, uh, I figured out for myself that uh, I really just like the competition part yeah. of freestyle mm. and uh, the, the pushing limits uh, yeah. part. <laughs> and I feel it's easier to combine that with studying part-time yeah. than combining that with living from freestyle. Wow, that's interesting to, to, to
to hear because um, yeah, there are also freestylers. Once they get at a certain level, they, they start, I don't know, uh, partnering up with a lot of companies. And of course, you're also doing shows sometimes, but it gives you more maybe relaxed feeling that you also have your study in your pocket, you know, and that you have, <laughs> can do something else. So you can focus on freestyle and yeah. pushing limits. Yeah, that's a good point. Wow, yeah. That's interesting. So you don't feel the pressure to live from freestyle and you can just enjoy it yeah. still to the fullest. Exactly. So oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's interesting, I think. Um, yeah, and, and is there anything that, um, that you have felt has changed in um, yeah, your presence at a competition, for example, and um, how, you watch to, how you look towards the competition? And freestyle in general or over the years yes yeah i i kind of miss being the underdog <laughs> <laughs> like being uh, uh, i really found that like uh, uh, really cool like in 2014 and 15 being like nobody expected yeah. anything yeah, and yeah, yeah. i could just <laughs> surprise yeah but now it's more uh, everybody expects me to be, yeah, at least in the semi-final, yeah. final, probably Is that win. difficult? Or? No, it's, I don't know, it's all about how you view it. Because uh, now at my, my stage now, I, I want to have the pressure. I, like, I want people to have high expectations. I mm. think it gives a good, uh, it makes people excited. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't be without that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and also you could view it in many ways. Mm. I could view it as uh, like uh, being afraid that yeah. I could yeah. be bad or something. Yeah. But uh, I always just focus on the constructive part. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, I really want to show the new things I yeah. got and show my level and uh, yeah bring good vibes. Yeah, so it's not that you feel it as a pressure that's making you perform worse. It maybe thrives you. It's it's good yeah. for you. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you just have to attack and not uh, be <laughs> defensive, I think. No, no, that's true. Um, another topic uh, that I personally struggle with also, so that's why I'm, I'm asking you, um, because sometimes I I feel a bit insecure about my freestyle and I know that a lot of different freestylers experience the same thing. I also talk with PWG, he also has that and uh, for example Boss, uh, my roommate, he also is like I can do nothing and I, I, he's not so secure of himself you know and when he compares his, when we compare ourselves to other freestylers it's like ah, they're way better than, than I am. Um, do you recognize this feeling or are you super secure of your tricks and of course, in some areas, uh, I'm not close to people's level. Like, for example, Ibuki with this uh, yeah. raps and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's how freestyle is. Yeah. And uh, it's good that it's that way and that you can look up to someone. And uh, yeah, it's always a way to push yourself. And uh, it's the same for, uh, with that, like saying that boss can't do anything, that's just... Uh, that doesn't make sense no. because you can do so many incredible stuff. That's so true. it's it's how you view it there as yeah. well. So I can do all of this stuff, but I can be better than that. Yeah. And try to improve and not just think. <laughs> because yeah, you can always be surprised mm. about uh, people's level and people's tricks. But uh, you just uh, have to view it in the right yeah. way. Yeah. And can you view your tricks in the right way, or do you sometimes also struggle? Like, for example, coming to a competition and you mm. you see, I don't know, a lower guy busting out uh, uh, five mm -hmm. APATV, I don't know, in combo. <laughs> oh, no, I can't it, do that. Let's put it really crazy, but <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It, well, now I don't feel s I don't feel so insecure. Okay. But. Uh, I remember in 2015, uh, or like at least the years before that, I was more insecure. But uh, in 2015, I feel 
that Super Bowl was the first year I really managed the mental part of freestyle because I kind of figured out what was stopping me from performing uh, super well and that was I was afraid what people would think of me if I did bad. Yeah. So that was uh, like the root and then when I was watching other freestylers on the stage and uh, seeing some of them maybe do not so good. Yeah. It's like for me as a viewer I didn't that's okay for me, like I'm not mm. blaming that guy no, for no. not doing his best. No. And uh, but if someone is doing really good, that's like whoa, yeah. positive, yeah. and you, <laughs> yeah. you wanna give him credit for that. So yeah, that made yeah just watching from outside made me feel more secure and say yeah. on the stage as well wow. because I could be more eager to perform than afraid of failing. Yeah. Because you realize that the people from the side, they won't blame you if you do bad, you know? Yeah. Uh, and you thought so in the beginning. That yeah, 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 sort of. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if they blame you, that's, that's on them. Yeah, like that's not the right people then. Yeah, to have exactly. Around you. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Okay, if you look at it from that perspective, then it, it makes way more sense. Yeah. I'll definitely try that. Um, yeah, maybe let's, let's bring it back to to the Super Bowl because tomorrow is top 32. Are there any, yeah, what does your day look like today or tomorrow? How do you prepare the final, on the final day? And uh, today I'm having uh, two training sessions. Not so, not so intense. No. Uh, and not too long. I just want to have my body active. Yeah. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe do, hard tricks but don't push my lower combos no. for example to the max yeah just to stay fresh and ready and uh, yeah tomorrow is top 32 and show flow for me oh yeah both <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're just doing it both yeah and uh, I remember a different Super Bowl you also had a double routine right so you I think you battled and then you you ran you won and then you <laughs> ran backstage you dressed up in different clothes and then you had the double routine with yes. Daniel yeah, it's been a few years like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but uh, this year it's no double routine. We yeah. have competed double routine, uh, I think it's five years in a row now. But this year it's uh, no double routine. And uh, yeah, it's because we didn't have time and prioritize it this year. Yeah. And also, yeah, but next year maybe we will join again. Mm. And. Uh, try to do better than 2019 but we were really happy with that one yeah, so can and, imagine. and given the time we have had this summer uh, we felt we couldn't do better than that so we yeah yeah we just skipped it this year yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so focused on battles really yeah. and yeah show for me yeah but of course it's the battles that's the most important yes yes definitely and so is today you take it easy is that because you want to be fresh like you said physically or also mentally and in the right mindset uh, yeah both try to be fresh all the time yeah both physically and mentally so it's more like the week before i've trained uh, a bit hard yeah just to get tired yes and then rest and then have some some super compensation yeah to try to yeah get stronger legs yeah. <laughs> we'll see if it works <laughs> and uh, yeah tomorrow i will probably have a small session as well yeah not too long and just again and to activate your body yeah and saturday or a session earlier in the day and then and then it's go the time. finals yeah then it's go time and what's then going through your mind when you when you're on the podium and you uh, this is the right this is the moment where you have to show it and hmm. so le let's yeah I don't know if it's the right moment to watch ahead so much but let's say you reach <laughs> the final and you you walk on the stage and everyone's there Erd and Erd and then <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, if that happens that would be cool um, <laughs> I I try to be in the moment and uh, 
yeah, enjoy it as much as I can because uh, like the tricks I have trained for so long so I don't really need to worry that much about that so you know it's more it. yeah so it's more about just being warm ready and uh, mentally prepared yeah. so when I feel mentally prepared I'm very present and uh, can look my my opponent in the eye yeah <laughs> look at the crowd as I want and just yeah, uh, yeah hopefully do my best. I remember, like you said, some moments. Was it 2019 where you were, uh, were in the final with, no, 2018 with Boyka? Yeah. Yeah, I remember also you, when you had just won and everyone ran towards you. Kind of, I, I don't know, it felt really weird. I was one of the first ones to, <laughs> to run towards you, I don't yeah. know. But to experience it through your eyes, it was really like you were, yeah. You were there, you were also experienced. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, 2018 was uh, wonderful yeah. for me. I was, uh, I think that was the year it felt the best to win. Yeah, it felt like a dream, something like someone. Yeah, yeah like it, when we ran to, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, hard it was, to put it uh, into words, but was it a dream come true? Like, I think so. It was. It was also <laughs> like the Around the World documentary was filming that yeah. time, and uh, I just felt like. Even though I didn't do that well in the final, I kind of felt like overall I deserved it. And it was so close. <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but that makes it even, even better, right? Yeah. When you win it, yeah, win it, it in does. the end. Yeah. And then, it, of course, it's super nice at that moment. You win the world championship. You are the world champion. Um, but you also say, okay, but then you go back to, to your hotel room or to Norway and then you expect the world to change. <laughs> but it doesn't change that much, you know? <laughs> Everyone moves on with yeah, their things. I, I don't expect the world to change. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think many people do. And uh, yeah, I was, was pretty early aware of that. Yeah. Like uh, having heard from other freestars and stuff. And uh, like my f the first time I became world champion in 2016, I already knew, knew that. And now because it's... Still, freeze, freestyle is not the biggest sport, so you don't instantly get famous uh, no. for that. No, it's not like you come back to Norway and everyone is like Ireland in the yeah. inner city. Maybe in your city, Trondheim, yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we are known in Trondheim, like yeah. uh, people recognize us and stuff, yeah. but it's, uh, it's very... We are still at the point where it's uh, only good feelings that people recognize us yeah it's not yeah. annoying at all no no so that's i think that's good yeah and so what you also say is that it's not really about maybe the maybe the road towards getting the world champ getting the world championship is more important than actually getting it or yeah yeah in the end yeah i think so i would uh, a lot of people want to be in your shoes but in the end it's about your own process your own yeah. yeah development yeah you really have to figure out what you what you really want mm -hmm. and uh, uh, yeah for some what they really want is to be famous get rich mm. and um, maybe they feel uh, like they have to be world champion in order to reach that yeah that's and then yeah I think that's like a mismatch mm, yeah yeah, and it doesn't apply to you because, like you said, you want to push your limits and have your study as, like, also do something with it later on. So you don't have to live from freestyle at, at all, so. Yeah, yeah, but I, I will always be a part of the freestyle community and, uh, wow. and probably do shows for many years as well. And yeah, I, I don't know how, how long I will go 100%, but I love freestyle, so I will, I will You'll keep on train going. it. Yeah, definitely. All right. I wish you good luck on Thursday, and it's glad to. I'm glad to hear that you will be freestyling for so many more years. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much, and uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, thank you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. Thank you so much for listening. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this episode. You can always send me a message, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. See you soon. Bye-bye.